Hello, this is Richard Silverstein of Tikkun Olam coming to you on behalf of Israel Social TV. Jack Titel, the flower of American Jewry, has received two life sentences from an Israeli court for his acts of terror against Palestinians, Christian missionaries, gays, Israeli leftists, and even the Israeli police. This is the final act in a drama that began nearly two decades ago when he made Aliyah from his Florida home. He had grown up there as a child of a U.S. Navy dentist. In his years spent on military bases, he developed a fondness for guns, and it would serve him well in his future career as a terrorist. Once in Israel, he gravitated to the settlements and became a loyal follower of the most violent of the Kahanist movement. His terror spree began in 1997 and continued for a decade. Over the years, he was either charged and convicted of or was suspected of involvement in the murder of two Israeli policemen in the Jezreel Valley, the maiming of the son of a Christian missionary, the Tel Aviv Gay Community Center massacre, the wounding of Hebrew University professor Zeev Sternhell, and the murders of two Palestinians. For his deeds, he received two life sentences. He will serve a minimum of 30 years unless an Israeli president pardons him, as has often happened in the past. He will often also have to pay his victims $250,000. As there are so many victims and the fine so low, there must be a special discount for Palestinian lives. That this final act has taken years is a testament to the long winding road of Israeli justice, which is often denied when it comes to acts of violence by Jews against Palestinians. It is safe to say, and I am confident in doing so, that had Titel been smart enough to confine his murderous impulses to Palestinians, he might still be free but Titel's hatreds were broad and sweeping. In this, he re re resembles an American a su white supremacist more than traditional settler thugs who limit their overt acts of physical violence to Palestinians. Titel hated missionaries and gays almost as much as Palestinians. Also, unlike his settler counterparts, he was willing not just to hate Israeli leftists, but to kill them. Titel even used his trial as a further opportunity to proselytize for settlerism. In the past few days, he's announced that God himself approved of his deeds. Note in the accompanying picture, he's wearing a talit, appropriating sacred Jewish garments to anoint himself a Jewish fighter. During many years of legal proceedings, his defense attempted a trick often attempted successfully, often used successfully by Jewish terrorists. His attorneys argued he was insane and therefore not responsible for his acts. This would land him not in prison, but a mental hospital, where his conditions of incarceration would be much more lenient. It didn't work this time. Titel, however, disputed the court's right to judge him and called it a whorehouse. There are many things that are evil about Jack Titel and the rabble and settler movement that supports him, but the one that is first and foremost is their effort, which is shared by radical Islamists, to make the Israeli-Palestinian conflict into a religious war. As I've often said, this is a development devoutly to be wished for by all those who thirst for a final bloody battle in which their side wins a triumphant victory. Turning the conflict into a crusade or jihad renders it unsolvable. It destroys the ability to rationally address the issues and resolve them. When two religions fight, then God himself is summoned on behalf of the combatants. Once you appeal to the transcendent, you take the conflict out of the hands of human beings and the battle is to the death. That's why the Israeli-Palestinian con conflict must be political. It must and is a fight for land, rights, and power. It is a fight that two peoples of goodwill and with leaders of vision and foresight can settle. We are not there yet, but sometime in the future we must get there. This cannot be turned into a fight between God and Allah or between Judaism and Islam. If that happens, we are all doomed. Another of the evils Jack Titel and his ilk bestowed upon Israel is the violent hatred of Arabs, blacks, and gays that some American Jews bring when they make Aliyah. 
There is a certain strain in American Judaism that is drawn to Israel not for reasons that drew previous generations. These settler Jews are not drawn by the vision of social justice and the strains of the biblical prophets. They are drawn by the racialist vision of Ne'er Kahana, which defines Israel as a state by and for Jews. These American Jewish olim see Israel not as a democracy, but as a state that must exclude the riffraff, the aliens, the impure, the non-Jews. If we American Jews have given any gift to Israel, I'm afraid it is this, the most violent, most hateful adherence of settler Judaism. For this, as an American Jew, I am profoundly sad, and I profoundly apologize to every Israeli who, who watches this. Unlike Emma Lazarus, in whose poem Colossus Lady Liberty urged that Europe send us, quote, your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, unquote. America has sent to Israel our killers, our haters, our angry youth who yearn to put a bullet in an Arab. Ashamnu Bakatnu. This has been Richard Silverstein for Tikkun Olam. Thanks for watching.